Yeah, what's going on? This time I gotta hold this mic in a different way. Oh, I'm driving. People are driving crazy today too. Yeah, a bunch of dumb idiots that don't even know. Okay, if you're going north or south, looking at the signs, okay, they got a damn near stop. <laughs> Motherfucker, know where the fuck you're going before you go, or at least have a good idea where the fuck you're going. Yeah, damn. People are something else, man. So when you hear me pause, that means I'm doing my thing because, uh, you know, people are indecisive. So pretty uh so i don't know how this is gonna sound but you know it is what it is but um <clears throat> and i also gotta kind of hold it in a way so uh you know in case police come by doesn't look like i'm talking on the phone so anyway i want to talk about uh Damn, I forgot what I called this, so I should have looked at the title before I um started. But um I know it's something called masonry. Yeah, yeah, we have masonry. The other minorities and immigrants and everybody else, they have the money. That, that that's what this is about. <laughs> and um Freemasonry and some people might say, why are you attacking it? Well, I'm attacking it because I don't see the results or even the hint of results for the group. I see the results for the individual. And when you're under an association, that means that you're under somebody's command and it's essentially a religion where you have to follow rules and praise the uh, central command. So you got idiots right here, they don't know how to stop. <clears throat> idiots. So you got to praise the central command. I don't know why the fuck is so fucking busy today. But you got to praise the central command. Since there's traffic, that's why I figured let me uh, do this while I'm driving. Uh, so you have to praise the central command. So that means that it's like a religion because you got rules to follow. Now, I guess the question is, I tell you, man, some people panic stop. People need to learn how to stop smoothly. And this is a fucking, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, Discovery. Land Rover Discovery. People don't know how to stop smoothly. You know, you know me, I just changed my whole brakes and shit. I can't say they were more effective than what I had before. I think they are, though, matter of fact. Because uh, the fronts, I got the dotted kind. And the uh, back... I got the blank just for insurance because they say there are different things going on with the uh, dotted or the slotted or the slotted in the dotted. Anyway, as far as masonry goes, you know, I, I wonder if blacks get told one thing under masonry and whites get told another. And the reason why I say this is because I don't know why this motherfucker just I don't get it. Why Why did he just slow the fuck down? For what? Fucking idiot. So, <laughs> motherfuckers don't know how to keep it moving. But anyway, I don't know if white people get told something different from masonry than black people, but it looks like uh, white people as a group benefit more than blacks. It doesn't look like blacks as a group benefit at all. You know? So, I'm slowing down because somebody don't know when, what they want to do. I usually like giving them room to do what the fuck they're trying to do. So, if they do the wrong thing, they do it by themselves, you know? So, <clears throat> and the reason why I say this uh, as far as blacks and whites and masonry is because and this could be a part two because I might Depending on what time I make, I might have to stop someplace and uh, cut this down and then do, to be a uh, continued situation. But um, 
whites are obviously benefiting from Freemasonry. Blacks, only a few. You can look at the Diddy situation, all the celebrities. That's another thing I was analyzing too. Whether or not they're in on it on their own or aware of it. But I couldn't help but notice our biggest uh, celebrities. No matter how much money they've made, they've all gotten shut down. No matter how famous they were, or even if they died, they got they died with bad press. Prince and Michael Jackson. You got the Bill Cosby, O.J. Simpson, Diddy, R. Kelly. Shit, Janet Jackson seems to be unscathed so far. Maybe it's because she's a woman, but at least when it comes to the men, you know they they've uh, gone out in a bad way. And I've also noticed that the Caribbean blacks yeah I've been noticing these type of things and on my other uh, rumble page the knowledge is what's up I brought that back and I had the uh, knowledge is what's up uh, Facebook page for for years actually uh, but then since I got my my computer uh, I made some adjustments with that and the shit is uh, doing this thing I said let me get back into this world now so look forward to even more uh, strong videos and some original stuff coming. Since, you know, there's less of a fear on Rumble of them taking it off. But anyway, I noticed that black celebrities that are of Caribbean descent, they, they don't go out with uh, besmirked uh, 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 reputations like Sheila Jackson Lee, Sidney Poitier, uh, what's the other guy, Belafonte, <clears throat> Calvin Lockhart, anybody you could think of that's Caribbean, they are, you know, they leave with their reputations intact. And they don't, and the white man wants to hide the fact that a lot of these people are Caribbean, which should be pretty telling. You know my uh, thing about the British connection. I just saw this fucking idiot. These these Tesla drivers, the fucking dimwits. Fuck you driving fast for. And in the wrong spot, man. If you're gonna try to drive, act like you know something. At least know what spots to get in. Anyway, I was watching some show about some lady they were talking about the Wall Street Journal and the editor-in-chief is fucking British. I said, God damn, they're involved in all of our shit. British takeover. That's why I said they got you watching Russia, Israel, Mexicans, and uh, racism against blacks. Why they just fucking swarm the motherfucking country. Take over every goddamn thing. They always say it's your friend, your best friend you got to watch out for most. The United States went to war with this country more than any other country. This fucking Tesla driver, you had all that fucking time to move over. I hate when people do that shit, man. You get motherfucking space to move over and then you, you want to move over once I start inching closer. Yeah. Well, anyway. So, you know, they get the uh, British representatives. You know, you got the Kamala Harris. That's another British representative. Uh, British subject. Because you got the India and the Jamaican uh, connection. Obama, Kenyan, British. And, you know, the Bush family, I believe that they're traitors helping out the British. Because you got to keep in mind, a lot of white people still have direct family ties to the United Kingdom and probably prefer... Both, that both countries were united. But the truth be told, it'd be better for the United Kingdom if the United States uh, stayed separate because then that way, you know, somebody attacks one or the other, the other one can act independently and have their back like the U.S. has been having to these people. So that, that's a better... Uh, it's a better thing. So, yeah, this might be a part to be continued.
unless I get out of the uh, car doing it while I'm talking or I'm walking. So you had all that going down. Then you got the Freemasonry, Barbados, Prince Hall, British. The connections are clear. Pretty clear. Now, when you combine all that with uh, black history globally, it seems as if Freemasons' primary mission, and black ones too, is to. These fucking motherfucker, you got the fucking thing to get in. These motherfuckers, you give them all the time to merge. You got, it's a quarter mile merge. This motherfucker's still an idiot. Don't get it that the fucking road is shrinking. I mean, damn. I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. So anyway, <laughs> when it comes to black history, I noticed that Freemasonry or Masons or entry level Masons <laughs> trying to get up, get their uh, rank up. Cause that's what it's all about just like in any other society people are trying to get their ranks up join the police trying to get your ranks up so you can get more money any job you got you trying to get your rank up so you can get more money now there are some people who don't want to get their rank up for whatever reason um, so what you do is you have people who they're telling you black history blacks didn't do this blacks didn't do that Seems like it's following the same rule and line of uh, white supremacy. So I ask, what is the benefit to black people to say that black people are nothing, never were anything, never will be anything, but a Freemason? Because blacks dedicate their lives to that, but they don't seem to dedicate their lives to black people. That's, that's the brotherhood that they deal with but they don't seem to deal with uh, you know anything for black people now you flip it every immigrant you could think of that comes here it can come from the poorest country the enemy of the United States Albania uh, uh, Bangladesh because I was just reading a lot of Bangladeshis uh, moved into the Detroit area from Queens. And I'm sure it's those dark ass people, <laughs> people familiar with in Queens that you see. Black as hell. East Indian types. Um, so they were moving into the D Detroit area, into Detroit itself. Everywhere we go, even Atlanta, you got Caribbeans and Africans moving into the Atlanta area because they saw us going. They won't let them, they won't leave us alone. It's like they gotta keep attaching themselves to us. You know when you got Jamaicans going to the south and these motorcyclists too. I can't stand these motherfuckers either. That motherfucker didn't have to get that close. And I hope I ain't missed my motherfucking exit while I'm <laughs> doing all this talking. Cause sometimes it'll happen. Uh I could have. I could have. Let me see. <laughs> Uh, hope I didn't. But anyway, when it comes to these tech jobs and shit like that, doctors, now lawyers, business people, did I miss it? This exit is a long uh, exit. Okay, I didn't miss it. Good. So, uh, Business people, because I was just watching the AMD presentation, and one of the head, the chief designers of their CPUs was an Indian guy. Bad dental work. I'm like, and every time I look around, Indians, man, they keep finessing these motherfucking top jobs. I'm like, man, I don't know how the fuck they do it. You name the business, they 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 finesse these jobs and the money. And it's from white people doing giving them these jobs. I'm like, uh, again, when I was in college, I, I I made sure to pay attention to these people, so I can hear what it is they're saying and see how intelligent they were. Even on my job, I was like, let me hear these motherfuckers. But they, at least around me, they're people of very few words. I'm sure they can't be people of very few words around a white man. 
But I've always been perplexed by this. Why does the white man give everybody else the world, but doesn't even want to give us a cookie? Unless you're a Mason, of course. And that's my whole point. Now, I know there are Masons all over the world in every culture and everything. Uh, so now this is the exit. Or this puts the, uh, those brakes I installed to the test. And I did a great job, by the way. Smooth and strong. And tight. Come on, man. Get your ass out the way. That's why I do the shit myself. Because uh, I like my job. <laughs> I do a great job. But <clears throat> they give all these people all these fucking jobs. I don't know how they interview with fucking accents. And then, like I said before, even these foreigners from uh, uh, a lesser stature, if you want to call it that. These motherfuckers are uh, coming in and becoming cops. Fucking cop police officers with fucking foreign accents. That's not cool. That's not cool. And usually when they keep hiring foreign cops, usually that means something is is on the boil, as they said in Shaft. Something's on the boil. <laughs> and um The other thing about that is you combine that with all, with all these immigrants. I think what it does is so many foreigners takes out any nationalistic uh, pride once they start uh, doing some hardcore shit. And again, I've been seeing an increase in British people. British store managers, British apartment building managers. I'm like, man, what the fuck is going on? I'm sure you go to the UK, you're not going to find a whole ton of Americans. Shit, maybe I should relocate out there. I'm sure there'll be a ton of restrictions. But see, they use the loophole in US law plus white supremacy uh, unwritten rules. Shit, they used to be written. <laughs> uh, where damn I hope it doesn't rain by the time I reach the first destination god damn where they use the white supremacy rules where the British can come here and uh, basically do what the fuck they want to do because again the British are the largest investors in the United States and you invest in countries because there are different ways to take it over and of course the small hats run the US and the UK Hell, they run Europe, too. <clears throat> For that matter. So, if you hear me go silent, that means, uh, well, you'll hear me getting out of the car. I didn't think I'd have enough time to do this because of the traffic, but I guess it lightened up a little bit. Um, so, my bottom line is, you don't hear... I'm going to try to make this long because people got to hear this. I should have written down some points. So. But the bottom line is you don't hear these constant Freemason agents in other communities. Um, you see college education, business acumen, all that kind of shit. That's what you, medical uh, shit. Like Kamala Harris, she might laugh. These fuckers, I don't know why they turn it so fucking slow. She might laugh like a crazy woman. And they get that shit because they see hood type blacks are either always laughing or always angry. So they think that's that amuses us with the smile shit. That's why when when uh you smile to your baby, the baby's learning to smile back because that's a good uh positive reaction. That apparently makes you happy and puts you off guard. And then when you make that mean face to the baby, the baby starts crying. Because that looks threatening. You're no longer looking pleasant. Same thing with the animals. 
Smile to the animal. You see the dogs with their tongues out smiling. You look mean. Now they're looking crazy. So you don't hear Umar Johnson's, Tariq Nasheed's, uh, Judge Joe Brown, Dick Gregory. Uh, who else? You know all these uh, weirdos that keep coming up on Black Magic. Uh, uh, Brother Rich channel and all these other places these fake ass doctors and see when it comes to the East Indians and the Asians you don't get fake ass doctors of bullshit philosophies you get <laughs> medical doctors <laughs> scientists and shit like that that have real world shit that applies to their titles and real education whether or not they actually you know had to get educated in the college or just knew the shit beforehand anyway from their families because like I said when you're um, a lawyer or a doctor in your family you can you pass all that shit that knowledge down to your children so they can breeze through uh, uh, school but for the rest of us that's you know trying to do what our parents didn't do or other family members and we gotta you know we're learning the shit as we go and the processes as we go into school and shit because we're thinking education first but we're not thinking know-how is important you don't realize that shit until you uh, graduate that they want know-how so that's why others co can come off because they get the know-how and the education you know so and what do we get we get Harassed. That's what I'm going to say. We get harassed by Freemasonry. <laughs> because this fucking Freemasonry with all these spooky, crazy ass. Uh, I think there was somebody called Dr. B. Serious or B. B. For Real or some shit like that. Other bullshit, fake ass doctors with these fake ass uh, names in this Egyptian worship. Like I said, man, these motherfuckers are so concerned about ancient Egypt. God damn it. Why don't you move there and start usurping the country? Because right now, all they're doing is, is, is talking shit right now. Oh, motherfucker just took my spot. Damn. Motherfucker's going slow as fuck. All they're doing is, uh... You know, come up with this bullshit. I'm about to... I'm tired of all this fucking... I mean, it ain't nothing I can do to stop no Freemasonry. I mean, some of the shit is interesting. But what I'm saying is, none of the shit is helping us in this real world right now. Because nobody else is practicing that bullshit. Well, you know, they are, but you know what I mean. It's not like a, they're living it. You don't see white people going around being named... Uh, Ta Kemet or none, none of that kind of bullshit. So, about to go in here. I'm going to tell you what I'm looking for in a minute. <laughs> looking for my free uh, Titanic 4K. Hold on a second. Shit didn't come yet. Shit still didn't come. Dang, maybe they're taking their time on that shit. They're probably taking their time on that. So, <clears throat> get back in the car. Hold on a second. Yeah, so I, um, if you watch these, uh, websites, there's this, uh, they'll tell you, like, when they send out replacement discs, because sometimes they don't code movies the wrong way. So, 
They did that with Titanic 4K. And had to make moves right there. So <laughs> they did that with Titanic 4K. And uh, you know, so I, you, you know, you had to send off for uh, and have proof of purchase of some shit so you can get the free disc. I did that shit before, just to get them. You know, it's a free 4K. I didn't want to buy that shit over again. All I needed was the 4K disc. You got that. Then you got uh, I did that with a Flintstones disc and a Bruce Lee. Way of the Ball, uh, not Way of the Balls, the Big Balls, when it first came out on Blu-ray, and doing that, see, doing that and getting them for free, that's when I first realized that the first Bruce Lee on Blu-ray, you know, the quality wasn't there, it looked like an upscale DVD, so that's why I didn't even want to uh, buy the whole set, but the 4K uh, Golden Harvest Bruce Lee shit, which you can't get in this country yet, but you can buy it off of uh, Amazon. Sometimes it'll go down to 25 bucks. I was going to get it in that one with the uh, Bruce Lee's Game of, Deaths, uh, uh, Game of Death disc, but I think it was only Blu-ray on that one, and I'm not sure it's going to play in the United States. The 4K, those discs play anywhere in the world. But shit, I want the Bruce Lee's uh, Game of Death on disc. So, you know, if that won't play, I'm not sure if that'll play or not. I don't think it will. So that's why I don't want to spend the money on that. But anyway, back to this Freemasonry. These jobs that these East Indians and Asians get, of course, they got their countries backing them up. You know, they get top of the line jobs making hundreds of thousands, half a million. Uh better incentives with businesses and shit and these motherfuckers don't have any room for us so all this bullshit free yeah and that's what i'm calling it because i don't see the benefits that's why we get constantly uh delivered with bullshit freemasonry uh, stories and some of you who let's say if you're around 20 years old you may think oh these guys are serious the side nutters and all these uh kooky spooky uh coons you may think, oh man, these people are dropping knowledge. But what good is this knowledge? The shit ain't helping you do shit in the real world, and the shit ain't helping you uh, reconquer Egypt. Why worship a place when there ain't nothing going on to get the shit back? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. At least go to Sudan and try to uh, uh, take that shit over and influence the people. But you don't even want to do that. But you said you want to give us that uh, Egyptian shit. To me, that makes absolutely no sense to give us that Egyptian shit. Because it's not getting us any money. These, these hood scholars, because that's what they are, because none of them are official. They hustle us with this bullshit. And they're always selling us some bullshit trinkets. Fake classes that do nothing, that aren't accredited to nothing. And it doesn't do anything for us, but waste our fucking time. You don't see college courses about Asar. You don't see college courses about none of that Egyptian philosophy Unless it's related to a sub uh, 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 class of uh, Egyptian religion or something like that, to get deeper into that shit, unless you take that's a part of your major or some shit. But as far as their uh, Masonic shit, that you know, that's some shit in the lodge that they'll uh, probably teach people. But again, you don't see white people taking on Egyptian names. You don't even see white people calling this shit Kemet. So, you know, they disperse these uh, Pan-African uh, agents out 
to keep talking this uh, Kimmit shit. For what? What does it do for you? It just makes you, it's to inspire you to do what? Become a Mason? Because that's all it could be. And to me, it just seems as if uh, when you're black and you're a Mason, the goal is to shut the fuck up. I mean, that's, that's what it seems like. Shut up. You shut up. Don't do nothing uh, outside of our perimeters. And just keep on talking to black people, black Americans in particular. And uh, keep them up with that, what they call the victimhood mentality. Or the defeatist, defeated mindset. Where, you know, you're a constant victim. Everybody else enslaved you. Uh, you can't do shit, never have uh, been able to do shit, except for uh, the last time you did shit was 2,500 years ago. But that's what I keep reminding people. Egypt has been conquered for 2,500 years now. And if the people hadn't been so black, you, you still wouldn't have the motherfucking remnants of them. And... It doesn't even seem like these motherfucking Egyptians, the real descendants, are even going to be able to make a comeback anytime soon. Shit, it's 2,500 years. Shit, that's when the motherfucking Greeks were around. Now you got fake-ass Greeks. Motherfuckers were part of the Ottoman Empire. Now they're trying to act like they're the fucking Greeks because it's popular and they get some money. I'm sure some of them are part of the Greeks, and you can tell those are the black ones, or the ones that's got black in them. So, again, East Indians, I don't see them uh, taking on Egyptian names. Now, I do see the Freemasonry in Asian <clears throat> businesses. Like, um, I think that AMD Ryzen with the sun. Come on, man, make your fucking move. I hate when people take 99 years just to turn, man. Once you start making it, make it. Shit. So, you see Ryzen with the sun. And, you know, Ryzen, sun. Uh, you see a lot of shit with pyramids. Some logos, like an Acura logo. You know it's A, but it's still a pyramid shape. Like that Tekken video game. At the time when that shit was out, or I mean it's still out now, but when, I, when it first came out, I kept saying to myself, Tekken, I thought that was some Japanese word or some shit like that. I didn't know what the fuck was meant by that. And then after I learned what it was about, I said, that's an odd thing for the Japanese to come up with. But you see... They'll come up with a game like Tekken because that's part of their Freemasonry uh, rituals if you want to do business in the Western world. Because the small hats got that shit unlocked. But at the same time, the Japanese show racism towards blacks. So that's the thing that confuses me. Why are black people the primary enemy or made to be the primary enemy because that Freemasonry is what's making this happen because if you think about it they don't even have to label us as the enemy they can just lay good as good no nah, this motherfucker ain't even look at where he's going what the fuck are you doing these motherfuckers must be high but you don't even have to <laughs> make us the enemy. <clears throat> How come they can't designate somebody else to be the fucking prime enemy of every... Uh... It seems like, you know, small hats run the Western world, which means that they run the business because they, they own the banks. If you own the bank, you automatically own every goddamn thing. And and all the businesses, because the businesses, they take loans from the banks. And they can never really pay them back unless you are a person with great business uh, skills and you already knew that you could probably pay them all back quickly. 
But other than that, you spend the rest of your lives balancing the budget. And at least on the books, they say that you don't make a profit. You just make uh, good operating costs and you can pay back your uh, loans on time. But um, again, why is why are black people made the enemy? But people that the white man goes to war with, he calls them evil dictators. Once the war is over, they're okay. Vietnam, once the United States lost that war, it's like, okay, well, fuck it. There ain't no uh, evil going on there anymore. Communism is okay. China, the West's biggest trading partner in a supposed communist country. When the government is actually a fucking dictatorship like the U.S. is becoming. And the same thing with the United Kingdom. People keep thinking that that's a free country when it's really not. Because it's not the United States. People, that's what people have to understand. The United Kingdom, they call it a democracy. That's the only thing that they're supposed to have in common. How are you going to have a democracy with a monarchy? But, you know, they lie to people and tell them, oh, what a monarchy, they're just symbolic. We could get rid of them. Really? <laughs> if you could, you would. I tell you what's symbolic, the motherfucking prime ministers, that's, that's what the fuck is symbolic. Because the monarchy existed before the prime ministers. <laughs> so... I don't even know why they're even trying to come with that kind of BS. You know? Just pass the cop. <laughs> Have to put that phone down just a little bit. <clears throat> so, you know, this is the type of shit that's going on. The East Indians, if you can see how they mobilize, they don't really give a damn about us and like I said in past videos they can't because then the white man will say no more business for you but I don't even think the East Indians plan on doing anything for us anyway as as you can see by Kamala Harris but I, I do get tired speaking of her I get tired of people calling her biracial stupid shit like that fuck is she biracial the one that's suspicious in her family is her father. Because you can't really say, what the hell? Man, what the fuck? Damn. Motherfucker driving a fucking tractor vehicle and shit on the wrong side of the fucking road. God damn. Oh boy. Let's see when shit gets like this too many calls close calls that's when I gotta just get my ass in the house <laughs> shit but anyway her it could be argued that Kamala's father is more non-black than her mother I've been arguing that for the longest time cause her mother is definitely blacker but her father is not really black per se but see Indians were only messed with him because he was highly educated and came from a prominent family and white style. But I've been telling people for years this is how Jamaicans roll. This is what Jamaicans are really about. See, it's that Rasta shit. That's the uh, let's pull ourselves out of society uh, <laughs> type of situation. That's what they're all about. And that Pan-African one love... Uh, Selassie I bullshit. Cult. That's what that is. That's a fucking cult. A cult of madness. That's another reason why we gotta stay away from Jamaicans. Then I was on Facebook and there was another Jamaican uh she's like Shikari Richardson. She won. I don't know if the Jamaican came in second place, but the Jamaican lady said, see we're Different nation, same people. I said, man, get that shit out of here. I said when it was Hus Usain Bolt and these other Jamaican uh, runners, it was Jamaicans, the mighty Jamaicans. And you, you black Americans can't measure up. 
Well, see, now that they're, they're down and we're up again, now they want to ride our coattails. And they come with that, that fake love, fake unity bullshit. You got to stop falling for that shit. That's what the Pan-African uh, ideology does. It, do, it helps to soften you up. Because I used to be brainwashed when I was a teenage hotel. And I keep saying that because, like I said, man, they had me, man. They had me. I wasn't fully brainwashed because I didn't wear the, uh, you know, that, that regalia they wear with the, the Jamaican uh, colors, the J Ethiopian colors, Jamaican flags, Bob Marley shit. I ain't wearing none of that shit. I ain't wear the, I ain't wearing any dreadlocks and none of that kind of shit. Black medallions, none of that kind of shit. But I did notice shit like every time I'm around or in one of their ciphers or what have you, I see the same type of uh, uh, shit going on. The primary thing was Jamaica, Jamaican flags, Ethiopian colors for the uh, rosters, the sometimes Africa, Bob Marley on the shirt, Marcus Garvey, sometimes Martin Luther King. Sometimes Malcolm X. That's really the only thing you would get from uh, Black America. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. And I say to myself, man, this shit don't sound American. It seems more like it's all about these other people. And of course, Africans were nowhere to be found in the whole philosophy. It was all really Caribbean. And people like me we were pointing it out. See, now Tariq Nashi would have been pointing out the Jamaican shit. Then I'd say, you know what? That's good because the right shit was spreading around. Instead, he wasted everybody's time talking about this African shit. And Africans weren't in the mix, but they figured, you know what? Tariq Nasheed is entertaining. So let me throw my shit in the mix and act like we're pan Africans. So now the wrong message has been sent out about the wrong people. And I need some water. But I can't put this shit down and open this water and drink that shit at the same time while I drive. Shit. Uh, <laughs> some people say good. <laughs> but, um, you know, that's what the pan-Africanism was all about. I felt that sense that we had to have brotherhood, but I didn't feel that they had that shit with us. You know? This motherfucker, oh man, you got people who ain't paying attention to where they, how they drive. Almost going off either that, they see a black man, they like getting nervous. That shit happens too. See a black man, they get nervous. So, <clears throat> so the main topic, of course, I mean, that's related to it, is we keep getting these swamis, these fake doctors that come out of who the fuck knows where. It's always a hood doctor. They never even graduated high school, but yet they they call themselves Doctor Waha, Doctor Maat. Well, she has a degree, but that ain't her real name. That's my point with that. These doctor, these fake ass names. And then you got a uh, guy like Doctor Randy Short, who appears to be a real doctor, but he's a Haitian masquerading as a black American when he talks. <clears throat> and of course, Tariq Nashi deals with him. So that's how you can tell hypocrites. If you're all in, if you're going to talk that shit, walk that shit. You can't come to New York and then start talking out, oh yeah, I'm my Caribbeans, my Jamaicans, they show me love. But did the Africans show you love? He claims that they did. But I can't imagine, first of all, I can't even imagine Tariq she walking down the street. That motherfuckers know who the fuck he is. That's number one. Because the motherfucker ain't really famous like that. And that's probably why he never really makes videos walking down the street in New York. Because <laughs> in New York, if you ain't major, hell, even if you are major, you ain't going to really get that, oh shit, that's him, that's her. You ain't gonna get that shit. You just another motherfucker walking around. Be honest with you. 
And a Negro like Tariq Nasheed, whose main uh, uh, situation is coming from social media. Same thing with Umar Johnson. Hell, Umar Johnson, might his face might be more recognizable than Tariq Nasheed's, to be honest with you. But Umar Johnson is a coon agent, too. I'm tired of his shit. With this bullshit school. Man, get your ass over there. God damn it. What the hell you got to take all that time to make the turn for when you got the clearance? Hate when people do that shit, man. Just make your moves. It's like they're trying to wait to get me stuck on the light. White people, of course. So, yeah, Umar Johnson by me might be better known than uh, Tariq Nasheed by face. But again, I was going to do a video on Umar Johnson, but I'm throwing him in with this shit too. Because, I mean, after all this fucking time, I mean, God damn it. What else could it be? It's a bunch of bullshit. Man ain't getting nothing done, but he keeps on getting all these fucking interviews. He keeps getting all these fucking interviews on The Breakfast Club. And they're up here. That Charlemagne was up here uh, trying to defend my man Scams. With the way he was talking, like everybody else is stupid, if uh, by not having patience about the school, if the man was really open in the school, the shit would have been open by now. That's the bottom fucking line. It's a fucking scam, another, another Freemason shit pattern after Marcus Garvey. And again, how does he get these interviews? How does he get the Breakfast Club without being having a publicist or a manager? Which would suggest that you're an entertainer. See, if you're just a freedom fighter, activist, grassroots as they, as they say, then you wouldn't have a manager or a publicist. But these people have these things. That's what Tariq Nasheed has. He's an entertainer. We know he's an entertainer. Um, but he's an agent as well. And they always put these agents as entertainer these entertainers as agents that's why you keep hearing about what D.L. Hughley's uh, opinion is about Biden Killer Mike his opinion uh, you know all these other motherfuckers Damn, these motherfuckers can't wait damn motherfuckers are driving like they just uh, got through robbing a bank fuck so, again, when you just look up any tech company, Fortune 500 company, these Indians are always getting hired. I don't know how they get these fucking jobs, man. But the one thing I know is you don't hear them talking Freemason philosophy. You don't hear the Chinese talking Freemason philosophy. And even if there was some, what they call an Ethiopian empire, that was a long time ago. And apparently these other motherfuckers don't give a fuck about that shit. When I was looking at those South Sudanese basketball players, which they, they weren't looking bad though, to, to my surprise. One of them was called Wenyin. I said, damn, if that don't sound Chinese. <laughs> Luau Ding, you know, that's another one that sounds Chinese too. And they also got those Egyptian names, but see these Freemason Negroes, they never mention how the South Sudanese have these Egyptian names, Egyptian Nubian names. And they're the last motherfuckers with it. Because a lot of the ones in Egypt, the black ones, of course, you know, they got Arabic names. That's why you got to praise the South Sudanese. Of course, you got South Sudanese types in northern in Sudan now. Well, they've been there, but you know what I mean. But they, their names are Muhammad. So, the bottom line is, I'm wondering about that fucking. I'm still wondering about that fucking Titanic 4K, man. God damn, they didn't really give me a, a email confirmation that they were sending it. But they just asked me for the information. 
and then uh, they usually just send it. it. Usually takes a few weeks. Cause I was in the middle of watching it on Blu-ray, but I'm like, I saw it already, but I kind of want to see it. If I can see the 4K, I prefer to see that. I had the Malcolm X 4K. Had to bring it, send it back because the second replacement. Now the two Blu-ray discs got uh, scratched up. I'm like, man, what, what the fuck is wrong with this? But I think it's the way the case is. So I scratched the two Blu-ray discs up. I didn't care about the Blu-ray movie on the Malcolm X set, but I did care about the uh, documentary that was on in the in the set. But overall, the only real difference, the Blu-ray and the 4K kind of look similar, really, really, really similar. The only difference was the HDR made a difference in, in, in those reds. But the picture was always great for Malcolm X to begin with. So that's why there wasn't too much room for improvement. So I think it's the case that's fucking up. Because, you know, it's a case that's not like your normal cases. So I think when they put them in, the cases, the, the, the workers are probably scratching them up. And everybody else, you go on Amazon, you got other people complaining about getting scratches on the shit too. So I'm going to give up on that right now. So and, unless they change the case. Other than that, we can forget about that. So um, that's why I didn't want to uh, waste my money on Titanic. 4K because I already got the uh, deluxe shit and they said one of the discs with the special features are missing from the 4K any goddamn way so and that's another movie that the picture quality looks so good it's like is there really room for improvement you know just past one of those Tesla SUV I don't know how much those shits cost but that's what you call hustling rich people out of their goddamn money. Cause the shit looks you like a goddamn idiot. But to them, they're like, man, I got I got it going on. Cause I got this shit. <laughs> but you look like a goddamn idiot. I'd hate for one of those to get into an accident because the way the sheet metal looks doesn't look like uh it's gonna survive too much. But anyway. Let's see what this battery is looking like. Damn, down to 45. Anyway, this Freemasonry stuff for us, how come it has to be that we're stuck with stories from 3,000, 5,000 years ago, but the East Indians and the others, the Turks, even the goddamn Hispanics, I know they got their Catholic uh, religion that was forced on them. But even they're not bombarded with Freemasonry. Now, of course, the small hats, I made the connection about small hats being obsessed with Freemasonry in Egypt which means that that must be something that's more real to them than some fucking bullshit ancient Israel which they clearly have no connection to now I hate when they redo roles but they don't do it perfectly pull your car one way but anyway uh <laughs> So Freemasonry, everybody else doesn't get this Egypt shit, but we get it. We get harassed with it. And when it came to Hannibal and Northwest Africa, they never talk about that. I mentioned that many millions of times. They'll be talking about it more now because Denzel Washington movie is coming out. So I don't know how they're going to cover. Well, it's just about Hannibal, not the entire Punic Wars, but the the 
while we get these stories from these fake doctors who never even stepped foot in the university and some even by the actual real doctors who you have to ask why are they preaching to people who are not their students and why do they never encourage us to go to college to, to get degrees but they want to keep preaching to us about Egypt uh, so-called African culture uh, so-called African people you know all this bullshit and then when you people like me we ask questions simple questions it's just like what's African culture what's an African simple questions like that they get upset because the reason why they get upset is because they have their scripted BS that they're trying to sell to us and then when they see that some of us are not buying it or at least want you to give us more insight about it now all of a sudden they get upset because they're like oh shit we can't we can't trick this person so they get pissed so they don't want to answer questions they don't want you to ask questions So to make sure this motherfucker look like they're trying to go at the wrong time. So, I don't even feel like stopping at the store for some reason. I want some, I got a feeling uh, for some meat over some rice, some type of meat over rice. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> some type of meat over rice. So, these fake doctors I, you know I've been seeing it since I was a teen and I did ask the questions even at <clears throat> the age of 13 I said who are these people now I listened to what they said before I was like I don't know if I believe all this shit because I wasn't taught this shit anywhere you know like some people say now they you know they get upset because people say that everybody was black everybody who did everything was black and of course, you look at the state of black people today and the state of Africa today, Africans can't even build a road. And you look at a hut in Africa versus a hut in tribal Latin America or even tribal Asia. You know, I, I, one thing I see is the African huts are asymmetric while the other people's huts are symmetrical. For those who don't know what that means, that means that the shit is fucking even on all sides. So that means there, there, there was math involved. Some type of math involved. Measurements taken before they built the shit. Put the shit together. You know? And with the African ones, it looks like the shit was just put together. And then it came out however it came out. Far cry from uh, ancient Egypt and even ancient Nubia. Now, of course, we can see the remnants of the buildings that they had. And we know that they definitely had math because it definitely took math to uh, make all that shit happen. But goddamn, how come other people still got some trace of their intelligence left but these Africans god damn it let me see if I can hit this light just made it right before a turn uh, <laughs> you know but the Africans don't seem to have any remnants of their former glory yeah we're talking thousands of years but god damn it these other people you know a lot of these people used to be black now all of a sudden now, oh yeah, I did get those clay bars. I did a little experiment. It's hard to really tell. One, they said this, you use it with water. Then you got, because this is a synthetic clay bar. Then you got the real clay bars that you use with some solution. Maybe I might buy that solution. So I didn't really see anything that blew my mind from uh, <laughs> using the bar with water. So...
I don't know, these people with this African shit, you know, I didn't believe it as a teen, because I'm like, well, how can this be when it doesn't seem like that's the way it is? And Africans can't build anything. And Africans are always looking for food. They got to get hand-me-down clothes, uh, you know, from the losers of the uh, Super Bowl and shit like that. I mean, damn. I said, damn, Africans can't even live uh, like Romans live. That's how I judge people by. God damn it. Motherfuckers from 2,000 years ago, where you can you live the way that they live while not having high technology and being broke? And the answer is no. Which is unfortunate, but the answer is no. And I hate when people roll down the street switching lanes and not sure where the fuck they're trying to go. Damn. They're fucking up my timing. There's another demonstration of the brake job. These are good brakes, apparently. I don't know if it's the calipers or the just because it's a new brake job. But anyway. We get masonry, they get the money. And while they're getting the money, the only money we get, or at least the way it looks on the outside, is money uh, that you see entertainers have. And when it comes to rappers, I can guarantee you 99% of that money is fake. Not real. Because there is no money to be made in the rap game anymore. God damn. It's all an illusion right now because they need to encourage Negroes, especially hood Negroes, to not go to school and get educations and become doctors, lawyers, and all that kind of shit. They want you to keep doing nothing and being an entertainer, being a rapper. Because once you're a rapper, or at least not as a rapper, once you, your goal is to become a rapper, especially if you don't have any real, oh my God, uh, what the fuck? I mean, people are driving stupid today. I mean, there's one idiot around every fucking corner. But, um, if you don't have any rap skills, you damn sure ain't going nowhere. You gotta be born to do it. Like an LL Cool J or somebody like that that was born to rap. You know? Everybody's not born to rap. I thought I was gonna be a rapper at one time. And then I realized I didn't like my voice. And once I, I was, it was my turn to do it. Shit, I kind of, uh, <laughs> I fucked it all up because I didn't, you know, I didn't know how to do it in front of people anyway like that, you know. Once the shit was recorded and they played that beat, I'm like, I was all off beat and shit. And they were like, man, you could rock to any beat if you know how to do your thing, which is true. <laughs> Apparently, I ain't know how to do my thing because I wrote my lyrics for a particular, uh, beat in temple but you know I learned later on that you know it doesn't matter you can adapt so I gave that shit up that's what a lot of people need to do give that shit up but again these black fake doctors these hood scholars these Freemasons they're not telling black people to get educated because it's clear that they don't want you to become educated they want to educate you in this Freemason stuff which is nothing more than ancient Egyptian shit. Now, some of the shit, like I said, is good to know, but I don't think it's good to live your life by. And I damn sure don't think it's a good substitute for 
formal education. That's a fucking addition. That's some additional shit. That ain't no, uh, you don't use that shit as a primary goal because then you see what the fuck happens. All these people, they get stuck in the Freemason world. Now they're back. It's like those pyramid schemes, those, those, those carrot bars. Once you get into that shit, now, in order for that shit to pay off in any kind of way, you don't have any choice but to carry on that mission, that hustle, to somebody else. Because you wasted your motherfucking time. Oh yeah. Let me tell you a cereal to not buy. Kellogg's has a cereal called Crumble. Oh shit. It's supposed to be like a take on cookie crisp. But that shit is disgusting. It's supposed to be chocolate chip cookies. It doesn't have any chocolate chip taste. They put caramel flavoring in it. For whatever reason. Disgusting. That's why I like BJ's. I went and took that shit back. I said, damn, I said, no wonder why every time I look on the app, that shit is sold out. Because once you get a taste of that shit, you don't want any more of that shit. Better off sticking with Cookie Crisp if you must have some shit like that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, man. Uh, the money that these Asians and other foreigners get. See, they get actual careers. They get jobs. They're on the books as being a physicist, scientist, medical doctor, what have you. Engineer. Architect. They're on the books as having or as or or as owning an actual business, not a table on the street, not a uh, uh, a hood business selling fucking oils. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. I don't give a fuck how much they make it selling oils and you can't put the business on the record. It's online hustles. It can only sustain itself by people constantly feeding you bullshit in every video and then hitting you up for money as they feed you the bullshit. Is that what Freemasonry is all about for black people? Because I'm not seeing any successes for black people on a whole with Freemasonry except for these pulling out of society underground schemes, hustles and bullshit stories you know you got some real shit mixed in with a lot of hocus pocus fooey uh, uh, cockamamie BS and I can't stand that every time one it's like the Sith Every time one disappears, they bring up a new apprentice to come up with the same bullshit. It's crazy, man. We stay in the position because of Freemasonry. That's the way it's looking. Well, all these others keep elevating their position and status in this country. You see Indians, you know, they can smell all they want to, but the white man keeps giving them these high level jobs. In the white man's world, Canada, UK, US, Australia, even the Africans do it. They open up businesses all over the world. How come the Italian mafia never went after them to take their business segments? But they went to take ours, the, especially the illegal shit. And organized crime, in case you didn't know, mafia, that's a secret society. 
under Freemasonry too. The black hand and all that shit. Just in case you didn't know. And you see who the targets are. The targets are the white man and us. How come you never heard about the mafia going to war with the triads? Mafia going to war with the East Indians. They're left alone and the Italians, they're, they're bosses of the small hats. Same thing with the Irish. They're bosses of the small hats, just in case you didn't know that. A lot of people still won't believe that, but you can do your own knowledge and you can see that every time they, the Italians make a move, the Irish make a move, the small hats are always in control of every goddamn thing. Because none of the moves could be made without the small hats. Because these are foreigners coming in from other countries, uh, destabilizing the U.S. Nobody says a goddamn word. And, and if you want to say, blame it on Hoover, hey, he was a, a, a Mason. So there you go. So why are we the target? Masons? I think Mason, black Masons are probably being tricked into thinking, hey, give us some time. We'll straighten this shit out right. And then uh, the meat shall inherit the earth. We will rise once again. Because it should be no secret by now that these small hats are black, white hybrids. And it's amazing that they've been able to keep that together with all the mixing. But I still notice that they still stick with each other. Now, how do you know that these hybrids didn't just say, you know what, fuck the long term uh, plan. We'll just stick with what we got right now. Because if they own all the fucking banks, why are they giving the monies, the, the opportunities to everybody else? Now, I, I know part of it could be because they see that these Asians got something going on. They got a, a, a network going on. They got intelligence going on. So they need to bring them in. Debrief them, so to speak. Learn their style. Then dominate, just like they do with China. And I told you this years ago. The small hats are going to get China because the small hats own the economy. Once you reel them in, because the Chinese, they were staunch communists at first. Then once you reel them in with the money, you get them used to driving Mercedes, uh, having mansions and shit, having businesses, looking like a big shot. Now they got you. Because you start thinking you're on top of the world, but you don't realize then they still own the economy and literally own all the fucking uh, money. Now they got you. And that's the whole purpose of doing it. That. That's the reason why they tempt people with money in the entertainment business, in crime. Because they know once you are forced, that's the way they design the economy, to force you to spend their money, to force you to use their money. And you see people will do anything for the money. That's why you check out that Griselda Blanco uh, documentary. And you see what happened in Miami. Motherfuckers going sick over the money. But this is what happens. So why even, let's say, their long-term goals of small hats is to help us out. Why do we have to be kept down now or kept down at all for that matter. And wait later on. If there is a later on. How how come others can do their thing right now? East Indians own a whole lot of shit. Some Dunkin' Donuts, some Popeyes. Some uh gas stations, of course, smoke shops. 
Now they're uh, owning auto repair. Damn sure I don't want them touching my shit. <laughs> a lot of shit like that. There is blue collar shit and white collar shit. High business, highest levels of business and in government. Now, if this doesn't sound like motherfuckers trying to take over shit, I don't know what the fuck it is, but they always claiming we're the threat. So are Masons just sitting back and have, having to take this shit or what? What's the point of, in us getting down with the program besides getting a little job and a little fame? Is that all that we need? Is that all that we're good for? These East Indians, they're not looking for fame. And the Chinese, they want to be even more low-key. Every day I'm reading some shit about Chinese spies, Chinese industrial spies. Just read a story today about a, a, a Samsung senior engineer in Korea selling OLED secrets to uh, China while working at Samsung. So now the Chinese companies can start developing uh, OLEDs and make them cheaper, of course, which will hurt Samsung and I'm sure LG as well. Both South Korean businesses. And they sentenced him to, I think it was six or seven years. I think they said he got paid, if I read it right, he got paid around $25 million. So it goes to show even a motherfucker with a great job. Because you know a fucking senior engineer, you know he's getting paid. But he sold it to China. Uh, uh, he went against his country and his business. And because of self greed, he doesn't realize that once the Chinese get that OLED popping, <laughs> uh, Samsung and LG, I already told you this anyway, they're going to be on their way out of business because Hisense and TCL, I told you, that's why I bought the Hisense TV. And still to this day, nothing has happened, nothing has gone wrong with it. Every now and then, the only problem I get. Might be a little bit audio sync syncing issues. That's about it. But picture quality wise, picture performance wise, internet wise, nothing is wrong. Let them get their hands on OLED, which they apparently got their hands on. They might do it better. And that might be good for consumers. But it's going to hurt Samsung and LG, of course. And it might hurt Sony, too. But I think Sony is backtracking on the OLEDs now. And they're dealing with the mini and the micro LEDs. Because you don't really need OLED now. So, that's what China will do. Get that money. A communist country is it into big business. Explain that. See, once they keep manufacturing everything. Matter of fact, explain how capitalist countries do business with communists. Explain that shit first. <laughs> but once they keep manufacturing everything. And their biggest customers are the West. Now, as you can see with Russia, their, their loyalties are kind of divided. Damn, we want to side with Russia, but goddamn, we can't get the, the West upset because what if they cut us off? Yeah, their economy might take a hit, but they'll bounce back. But what will we do if they cut us off? And I'll tell you what, the U.S. can survive because, obviously, it's the U.S. The West can survive because the countries that make, because in the, you got South Korea, as long as you got South Korea, Taiwan making shit for computers, you don't need China. European countries make the machines that are used to make the chips. So as long as you got them, you're good to go. Now they're making uh, fabrication companies in, in, in the U.S. now. So 
You don't have to worry about all that shit. But that's how the small hats, you think they're going to actually own all the money and the economy. And you think they're going to let somebody else get ahead? No. They're, they need to keep an eye on the people. Just like AMD versus Intel. Intel is small hat operation, small hat own. AMD is basically an Asian operation. NVIDIA is an Asian operation. Right now, they're doing worlds better than Intel, at least on the technology front. But Intel will always bounce back. Now, I think Intel might be letting AMD win a little bit, but I might be making a switch to AMD. I remember the last time I did it with the Athlon 64, the shit did blow away Intel, but then after a while, they couldn't. AMD couldn't keep up the shit. And then I had to switch back to uh, Intel which is where I'm at right now. So that's my only fear with AMD is that they'll fuck up again. And then Intel comes back strong and, and they do their thing. Right now, it looks like Intel, they reached the uh, thermal and technological limits of what they can do uh, for their CPUs right now. AMD does appear to be in charge. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, AMD does appear to be in charge of the situation, so I might be making that move. That's supposed to be releasing at the end of the month. But looking into it, it's still a lesser system than what I have, but some things on it are more powerful than what I do have. We'll see if it makes sense or, or not. Because I know I can sell the pieces of my old system and at least get back what I'm about to uh, put into this, if not more. Because my old system still has a uh, feature on it that some people will want. The motherboard can carry four GPUs at one time. If you use all four, it's eight speed or it can, or it can take two 16 speed or two eight speed at the same time. Of course, nobody really uses that kind of thing, but you never know. Somebody might want the power for AI, some other shit like that, you know? So that's why my parts are still expensive. So this is an hour and 22 minutes. I think I'm going to leave it at that. But again, Freemasonry, I'm just not sure what it's doing for us as a group. But a lot of Negro are recruited every day. They're dedicated to the cause. They love it. And they produce many agents who come out trying to trick us, get us into this Pan-African bullshit, metaphysics, uh, veganism, uh, uh, Bible uh, discussions, anti-Bible discussions, so I say. Never anti-Torah uh, discussions. And if it if they ever do get there, it's superficial one-offs. They never put down Islam because they know that's going to offend a lot of black people. But it's always Christianity because that's their main goal. And 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 hating on Christianity works in with the Ma'at and it works in with the small hat religion of being against Christianity, which they are. A lot of people don't realize it, but they are. <laughs> you start listening to Jews and, and ask them about that shit. They're not down with that shit. So I don't see the benefit at, for us as a group. I don't see the benefit for us as black Americans because they seem to be filled with uh, the black ones seem to be filled with Caribbeans and those who are under the British crown. British Empire. We got to stop being fooled. We got to analyze things and, and ask ourselves why something exists. Why does the Umar Johnson continue to operate? 
Damn, those lights are bright. Why does the Negro continue to get interviews? Why does the Negro continue to be taken seriously and presumed to be an actual psychologist and a doctor? I know people are not that dumb when they interview the guy to say, oh yeah, I know this is the doctor. Now, if they put up Dr. Uh, B. Real or B. Serious, Dr. Uh, 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 <laughs> Dr. Totem, Dr. Uh, uh, Tekken, Dr. Uh, Pyramids and some shit like that. You know those kind of crazy names they come up with. Dr. Africa, Dr. Uh, Sabi, all these, all these fucking names. When they don't ask them about their credentials, that's when you know it's all set up. Because anybody else that comes on, first of all, they're not even going to get the fucking interview. That's number one. Anybody else that comes on calling themselves a doctor, the first thing that they always ask is where do you teach? Where do you work? Where did you get your degrees? Real doctors always say, I got my degrees from such and such place. And right now I'm uh, working at such and such place. And I'm tenured or I'm looking uh, to be admitted to the board or what have you, whatever the fuck kind of shit. Bottom line is they're going to tell you exactly what the fuck is going on. No bullshit and none of that. Uh, why do you want to know? You don't ask the white man. Or they, they, you know, you ain't going to hear that kind of shit from an East Indian or Chinese, even if they're lying, you're not going to hear that shit. You only hear that shit from these coon agent Negroes. White people who will lie about their degrees, especially if they're coming out of Europe, they will say, oh, I got my degree from Helsinki. You know, they always talk about some motherfucking country. I see black people trying to pull that hustle now. I'm sure Tyron remembers that. uh, I forgot that guy. Who claimed he was from the South Pacific and shit. Now I said that was the most outlandish shit I ever heard. I heard some fucking lies before. I said now this motherfucker is. They, they, they coming with a new hustle now. Claiming to be from the South Pacific. I said damn. What the fuck is next? <laughs> I knew that was some bullshit as I was hearing this shit. But th- see, they want to say they got degrees from other countries. Then that way, you're less likely to be able to check the shit out. Because number one, you won't be able to speak the language. That's number one. Number two, you may not be able to be authorized to get into the shit in the first place. So this is what they do. It's crazy, man. So... We got to ask these people these questions when they're on. That's why a lot of these people don't let people ask them questions because we know, they know that we know that these people are full of shit. That's why. And it will never work. So we got to stop this bullshit right now. Because this shit is, is too crazy, this Freemasonry shit. I mean... Like I said, there's some good parts about it. It's a tight, tight knit uh, uh, religion controlled by the small hats, by the way, because they control the money and everything pertaining to Freemasonry and how it controls people. It's not that people believe in uh, their God or religion or nothing like that. It's It's just that they know that they'll get paid. That's what it's all about. You take away the money, there is no Freemasonry because there's no benefits to it. For whatever you do, you got to have a benefit for it, for the person involved, whether even like gang members. There has to be a benefit. The benefit could be getting paid, getting women, getting cars, or just staying alive. That could be a benefit. Or protection. 
there's got to be a benefit. But right now, it's heating up, and it's an hour and a half. It's like a fucking movie. So with that, and my battery's down to 35. So, so with that, I'm out.